good morning. It is kind of gloomy out, but not. It's like patchy rain, if that makes any sense. So it will be cloudy and rainy, and then it will be sunny, and then cloudy and rainy, and then sunny. And that's the kind of weather we have today, folks. Uh, very English, I, I think. I mean, if we have to be stereotypical, right? It's very English weather. So as you can see, it's, it's not actually morning yet. I mean, I'm trying to make some coffee for myself. Alvin took Emily to the playground this morning because I need a couple minutes to kind of just regroup because I've literally been with Emily nonstop for two weeks because Alvin's been working so much and the nanny's been on vacation and then she was sick. So I'm just trying to just take a few minutes to compose myself. So they're at the park and I'm making coffee and I need to get a game plan down for packing, what needs to be packed, what it needs to be packed by. I've got to get this place packed up. It takes so much longer and when you have a Moline, you can't really be packing the whole time, at least not with her, I'll tell you that. So when the nanny gets here, that'll be great because I can pack, but that time I need to work, I need to clean, there's so much to do. I also think the sooner that I pack, the less I have to clean that. So big thing that's going to be packed, Emily's toys. Toys, a bunch of clothing, we have to go through our clothes and decide what do we really want, what do we not want. Pack it away, just get it packed, get it done. We've got to do it. Oh, the hot water is done. I'm gonna make a coffee and I'm gonna, I'll make a game plan. I wanna write things down. I've gotta write things down. It's just the kind of person I am. Good. That's enough for two people. I'd rather have it be too strong than too weak. <laughs> you know, I feel kind of bad having cough a lot of coffee today and yesterday because I was doing so well, like scaling back, because I don't want to drink that much coffee. And I just I don't want to have three cups a day like I've been doing. And so I'm trying to scale back, but I really haven't got that much sleep, and I'm feeling a bit not stressed really, but just like anxious, like oh my god, I have tons to do and nothing's getting done. And so I'm using coffee as my comfort. I probably shouldn't do that, but I love coffee. It reminds me of my mom, my dad, my parents, and I don't know, that's just the association I have. And I have a lot of really nice teas too that I'm gonna start drinking. But just for today and tomorrow, I'm having like an extra cup. I think actually yesterday I had two Maybe I had three cups yesterday. Maybe. And today this will be my second cup, this will be my last. But I did buy some decaf. I did. Decaf coffee. In case I want some in the evening. But I think in the evening my goal is going to be to have a nice cup of tea to relax. That is my, my goal. Hi again. So, the bean is asleep. But she's, I think, going through some kind of gross work. She's really hungry. She just keeps asking for more and more food and more and more food. And she's ate so much today. And she woke up in the middle of her nap going, I'm like, oh my God, she's hungry. And so I went up and I put her, like, I just kind of shushed her back to sleep and she went back to bed. But I'm just like, I cannot believe that she's hungry. She's eating so much. I'm going to have to make her some oats I think when she gets up something that's really sturdy and really filling I think for now I'm gonna try and hang up the laundry and start another look I think it's the last nicest day but I don't think it's gonna rain anymore it stopped raining sun's poking out hopefully that's the deal look at Hemi hey he actually has his eyes closed which is a big deal because he always sleeps with his eyes open it's so scary so scary we are bringing the cats to the vets because they are behind on their shots. And if we're moving, we definitely need to be up to They're good on their rabies, but the other shots, they're not. Um, Emily and Mommy need shoes. So we've got to bring them to the vet and they're not very happy about it. Yeah. All right, on the way to the vet, all of us, the whole family. <laughs> I just think it's too much for one person with two cats, the vet. So I had to go with Alvin. Obviously, Emily is with us. And there are the kitties. There's Hemi. Look at Convoy. Chessie. It's sad because it's like a convoy. I know the cats aren't strapped in as perfectly. They should be to the side, but they don't fit. And I'm not going to put one in the front seat because we can't turn the airbag off. I don't know how to do it. I can't figure it out. So they're in the back. When Alvin drives across 
Europe, we're gonna put them, the car seat will be gone, we're gonna send that in the, you know, the rental car truck, and then um, we'll put the cats, you know, the correct way in the back seat, and maybe in a better carrier, we'll see. We're on the vet though, so it's okay. Well, we hope, you know what I mean. What are you gonna do? But you know, the sad thing is, Chelsea used to be so cool about traveling. You know, the first time we drove a year ago, it hasn't been a year since we, two years since we've lived, it was yesterday maybe, but either way, when we drove her from Norway to England for the first time, she was the coolest cat, she didn't care, she just loved it, she had a great time, she just sat there like, mm, this is great, looking out the window, in her case, and then we drove back and forth for Christmas and she was fine with that, but then when we finally came back to England, she got, we got her spayed, and that was, I think, really horrible for her. Now Chelsea just hates the car. She hates being in her carrier. It's horrible to get her in there. Hemi just resigns to his fate. He hates it, but he does it. But Chelsea's the one that's talking now. She's the vocal one that you hear crying. I feel so bad. <laughs> Ever since we got her spayed. Oh well, that's, what can we do, right? They gotta go to the doctor sometimes. Gonna go say hi to the kitty. Say hi to your kitty. Stay over here, please. Yeah. He's coming away. Was the door open when we got here? He's very unhappy. He's very unhappy. He's a bit sad, Emmy. That is a doggy, yes. Yeah, the door's Are we home? Yay! Home from the vets. Lovely. Did, did you give the kitties treats? You did. Look at the mess in this house, huh? Look, Hemi ate the box. Oh, well, we made it home, yes? Yay. Having avocado. These are fluffy. Holy. Holy moly, they're fluffy. <laughs> wow. Look at them. Oh my, they're because we let them rise. Yeah. It's a bit. Oh wow. Fluffy scones. They're very fluffy. Ooh, I can't wait. I'm sure they'll be good. They'll be fabulous. You know they will. Emily, oh, um, where's her plate? Hi. Hey. What are you doing? You good boy? Good kitty, good kitty, good kitty, good kitty, good kitty. Good bitty, good bitty, good bitty. You're a good boy, huh? You're a good boy. How do you feel? How do you feel? Did you go to the doctors today, Hemi? Did you go to the doctors? Yes. Oh, are we sitting? What do you think, Hemi? What do you think? Do you want good boys? You're a good boy. Oh, you're lovely. You're a good boy, huh? What do you think? Oh no, I closed the computer. I hope Daddy doesn't need anything on it. It's dinner time here. We've got beef stew with venison. And this roll. Beef stew. I made venison beef stew and we've got a roll from Alvin. And I'm really disappointed in the stew. <laughs> I followed the recipe, slow curry stew. I followed the recipe to a T. I did change one thing though. I didn't use beef stock. I used vegetable stock, so that's all I could find. Um, and I, I didn't have any homemade beef stock, which probably would have been really good. So I used that, but I'm just really disappointed. It's flavorless and it, it pretty much tastes like prison food, I said to Alvin. And I'm so sad because I love beef stew and the last time I made it, it was really, really good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was delicious. But having that, that, that being said, the last time I made beef stew was before Emily was born, wasn't it? <laughs> like, a year and a half ago. Yeah. Yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah. So, I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm going to eat it just because of the nutrients in it, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Here's Hemi. He's watching football. We, we are watching um, football or soccer 
depending on what country you're from, it's on in the background. Here you go. I'm not watching it. Alvin is watching it. If it's a fun game and a good game, I like to watch it. If it's boring, then I, I, I seriously lose interest. Like, sometimes it's just really boring to watch. And I won't watch it. You know that's just how, I, how it is. I haven't started my vlog. Emmeline has been for the past three nights. She won't nurse to sleep. She's trying to nurse to sleep, but she just can't. And then it takes her like 30 or 40 minutes to actually fall asleep on her own. I mean, she's been, and I have to sit there with her, like sit up in the room and then she wants to cuddle and then she tries to fall asleep and it doesn't work. And then she talks a little bit and I just sit there while she talks to herself and then she wants to cuddle and she wants me to massage her legs or this and that. I don't know if it's just her way of kind of learning to put herself to sleep and that's just, this is just the start of it and eventually, you know, it'll be easier and easier for her or if this is a phase and it will stop and then she'll want to nurse to sleep again. I'm not really sure. We'll see. I'm not weaning her or anything from that. It's just her choice. She has milk, but then she's it, she just can't fall asleep with it. It's not enough for her. So we will see how that goes. We will see. I'm going to do my vlog and I don't know, hopefully I'll get that done sooner rather than later. Yeah? How does I care? I'm He's like, I'm watching football. And where's your food? Uh, he made it. Made his way back to the kitchen. Why? Because I have pizza coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's, his food went, made its way back to the kitchen. I slaved over beef stew and he just, he's not having it. No, he's wondering. You're not happy. I'm gonna eat it. I don't want it, but I'm gonna eat it. Yeah. I had some. I think it's a full moon now. I'm not really sure. Yeah, it looks like it. I don't think I, I can try and show you. Oh, look, look at the new ones that we got. You can kind of see it. I believe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> I just, it's you know, huge. you, you, the moon is huge right now, but you know, if. When I put this on the vlog, if I put that on the vlog, it's going to look like this tiny dot. Yeah. You? I might do it anyway. Alright, I don't know. I'm going. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, look how cute him is.